Hello everybody, this is Greg with Mineral Springs Tilapia. <coughs> um, I've had a lot of questions about this filter system that I've got. So, and this back here in back of the tank. I'm going to go through some of the details of this filter system. First of all, as you can see, this thing flows out of the bottom of the IBC totes and enters the solids filter uh, about two-thirds up the water level of the tank. You can see the water level in the tank and then you can see the entry point of the water going into the solids filter. Um, I would have liked to have had it maybe a little bit lower, but it worked. it's working fine, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, okay, what, what I do is I come right up into the solids filter <coughs> and it flows let me get this filter pad out of the way. You can see some of the solids floating around in there, but it flows in through a pipe that is turned opposite directions to help it uh, spin, to help it kind of turn in there. So it has to, the water has to come up, back up through this filter pad that I just raised out of there. And through that overflow right there, it goes over here into the biofilter. Now, when it enters the biofilter, you can see that little 90 degree turn down there. It turns and goes through a two inch pipe to about four inches off of the bottom. What that does is that forces the new water in at the bottom and it flows up through the lava rock. Um, the bubbles are kind of messing the picture up, but <clears throat> the bubbles are necessary. You have to ha need an air stone. The air stone is placed at about five inches from the bottom, about half the barrel. Well, you can't see it from out here, but about half the barrel is filled with lava rock, and that's about this level here. Okay, then there's several filter pads on top of that. I'll see if I can raise one of them out of here. There's a filter pad. You can see I just got a round filter pad that I've cut to a round shape. I think it's basically an air conditioner pad. But I've got several of those on top of the lava rock. And the air, because your bacteria needs an oxygen supply just like your fish do to thrive and to grow strong, this air stone is placed into the bottom of this biofilter but above the outlet at the end of the pipe down there so I'd say it's probably about five inches up and it's just sandwiched in between it's a good air stone and it's sandwiched in between the uh, in between the lava rock or in, in between the uh, yeah the lava rock it, the, the lava rock is under it and lava rock is over it so um, from there it overflows at that outlet into this sump and this is nothing more than a sump that's got a pump and a heater and there's the heater that's the thousand watt bucket heater I plug it in only when necessary it does take a lot of energy to run that thing but it works fine and then it's pumped up through that hose and across this bank of, of totes in that three quarter inch pipe and you can see back there how it's flowing out and it flows like that very similarly out of every pipe your water level will seek its own level so it doesn't have to be the valves don't have to be exact but it's best to keep them close so that way a tank doesn't overfill and then just empty that one tank so that's what we're doing in here I've got several fish down in here you can maybe you can see them I'm not sure if you can or not um, these fish here are this is breeder stock these fish here are for sale these are a little smaller they also are for sale and these guys are gonna be my dinner here pretty soon they're about three quarters of a pound, somewhere in that range. And there's 10 of them in here. My wife's not a big fish eater, so <clears throat> I'm just growing them out for myself. And I'm gonna leave one in here, the biggest one. I'm gonna leave the one in here for 
a couple of years and just see how big I can get him. But anyway, that's the solace filter. If you have any specific questions that I didn't cover, just go ahead and, and make a comment and I'll answer all comments at all times. So, um, you know, let me know if you have another question and I will get it answered for you, okay? And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Bye.